Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodds and I run the Covenanter monthly pamphlet program over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. You can head over there and subscribe. It's just $10 a month. You get any one of the Reformed Presbyterian or Covenanter pamphlets that we are republishing for that month. Brand new, sent right to your mailbox. Uh, or if you've missed out on a pamphlet that you seem interested in, you can pick up any back issue uh, that you may have missed for just $12 a piece. Now, this is the 43rd pamphlet published and this one is for July of 2017. It's entitled The Ecclesiastical Catechism uh, by Alexander McLeod to help you understand what this pamphlet is about. I'm going to read here an excerpt from the back of the book. There was a time when the average Christian knew or wanted to know why he believed and practiced as he did. It was a time when churches taught doctrine and enforced genuine Christian practice. In America, one of the most hotly contested controversies surrounded the matter of church government. These controversies raged in the early part of the 19th century when each professing believer sought to give an account of why he belonged to his particular organization. As Presbyterians ran hard against Episcopalians in seeking to win the populations within the cities, it became increasingly necessary for them to present a polemic against the proponents of prelatic church government and the hierarchy of bishops. Presbyterianism was much more compatible with Republican institutions and usages. The Ecclesiastical Catechism, first published in 1806, went through several editions. In it, Reformed Presbyterian Alexander MacLeod sets forth catechetically the first principles of Presbyterian government. He discusses the matter of church fellowship as well as church government before expounding upon the various offices that are set in the New Testament church. His discussion of the church, courts, and their functions provides many helpful observations for those trying to understand how Presbyterian jurisdiction should function. His discussion on what matters should be subject to church discipline is both helpful and corrective. Moreover, his outline on the content and character of New Testament worship embodies the paradigm held forth in the Westminster Confession and often referred to as the regulative principle of worship. Finally, MacLeod's various notes on several important subjects raised within the Catechism often provide starting places for study or summaries of Reformed positions on church polity. So there you have it, uh, The Ecclesiastical Catechism by Alexander MacLeod, all about church government. It's a good one. You can pick this one up over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. Thank you very much for watching.